new manager, Trisha Fox, the unknown mask, and Matt got his question. How many managers has the unknowns gone through in the last couple of months? We all know how those guys in South America roll. They get many, many women, and now they involve maybe, oh, wait a minute. That's good. South Carolina, too. Yes, they're surrounded by maybe perhaps the most beautiful woman here in WW, Miss Trisha Fox. Definitely a sight for hard eyes. Go to the D Zimbalik. What are you doing out here with the unknown mask and, and, and Trisha? What, we haven't seen you in months. James Alexander, I'm on here for one reason, one reason. One and two have acquired my services as the interpreter. English to Spanish, Spanish to English, something you know nothing about. As for the lovely Trisha, well, did I say more? Just beautiful, don't you, don't you, I can. Thank you. The translator of Uno and Dos, Gorilla D. Zoo. There are poets. Sammy Cruz and HBO Keon, the WW Tag Team Champions. These men, in their first match as a team, walked out with the gold. And we have been expecting nothing but the best from Sammy Cruz and HBO Keon. I have been joined by the number one contender to the WW Heavyweight title, Tim Arson. Tim Arson. What do you see in the tag team of the champions themselves, Sammy Cruz and HBO? Oh, it kind of reminds me of the, the veteran Oreo Express, not the current Oreo Express, but the veteran Oreo Express of Mike Gallagher and GQ Duvernay. However, here it looks like we have a combination of speed and power. That's right there, double spears by Sammy Cruz and HBO Keon. I hate to correct you, but the name you were looking for was Cookies and Cream. There is only one Oreo Express, and that was Mac Daddy Flex and myself, Sweet Bobby G. Stand corrected. Gorilla D. Zoo guiding the unknowns, the former CMLL UWA middleweight tag team champions of Uno Adult. All right, well, this match already starting off with Gorilla D. Zoo getting, getting involved here as the interpreter of the, uh, of the unknowns. Unbelievable. Like, I believe not only is he the interpreter, but he is the guidance of Uno Idols. You know, this is their first WWE Tag Team title shot, and I'm sure that they want it to be their last chance at the titles because they want to walk out with the belts around their waist. Well, I don't know if they want it to be their last opportunity, but they definitely want to walk out. Beautiful leg lariat. Of course, if they win the belts, it would be their last opportunity challenging for them, Alexander. Well, not every tag team can be the Oreo Express and only hold those titles one time and never been beat for them. But right here, one of those looking for their first WUW tag team title of this year. You know what, Alexander? You're not as stupid as I thought you were. It only took about six months for you to realize that the Oreo Express won the WUW Tag Team Champions and never lost them in that ring. An interesting pairing here of HBO Keon and Sammy Cruz due to the fact that Johnny uh, Broadway was injured at his arm, broken that door by a team that no longer exists. Cookies and Cream, Chris Romano and Prince Atiba. And we're losing tag teams like flies here, man. Irish whip, whoa, oh, man, to the corner. And the offense by the... And you gotta think that the unknowns are the veteran team here are gonna have better 
tag team ability. As I always say, Jaden and Alexander, they are the former CMLL UWA middleweight tag team champions, and they know their way around that ring pretty much better than any tag team we've seen in a long time. CMLL middleweight undercard junior. What are you talking about, man? It's Consejo Mundial de la Lucha Libre in, in, in Mexico. Let's not forget one thing, Tim Orson is an international superstar, and if you want to talk international, you go to the former WWC tag team champion right here at Tim Orson. Abby, do you know what, a, what an international is? I believe so. What, what exactly is an international in the context you're talking about? Shut up. I'm going to tell you the accolades of Tim Orson. Tim Orson is a former WW North American champion. Tim Orson is a former tag team champion. Tim Orson is a former WW heavyweight champion. Now, I'm not going to stop at Johnny Rods. Tim Morrison has moved on to bigger and better things. Tim Morrison is one of the top competitors of all time in the island of Puerto Rico. And Tim Morrison has competed in the rings. Not many people, James, not many people have competed in a ring of the world wrestling entertainment. And Tim Morrison is one of the men that has done that. Tim Morrison wrestled Matt Stryker back in 2006. And that match was just phenomenal for something you'd see on Heat. I mean, Heat's not known for its good matches, and that was great. It's only a matter of time before Tim Arson is actually a member, an active member of the World Wrestling Entertainment Rust. You know, we're missing an incredible match here. Excellent, excellent, innovative move right there by Sammy Cruz. Throwing one of the unknowns into the corner, hitting him with the with the with the uh, backcracker, a form of the backcracker out of the corner. That was an amazing move, but now we're seeing the quickness of HBO Keon. Such quickness for a big man in HBO Keon. Is, is that is that is that uno y dos? And you know, you know what? I'm very impressed by the athleticism of HBO Keon. Where's the help with? Uh, well, Don Tito, Don Tito's been distracted by uh, the Hall of Famer Johnny Rods, and uh, right now it's it's, uh, it's look, he's out of jail, he's free, he does not, he does not need a parole officer, James, please. Back to the match, and there he is, HBO Keon and Sammy Cruz are the tag team champions, Mr. Arson, but they're up against probably the most deadly combination here in WWE, and that's the South American Terrace. Well, it's always, it's always going to be an unpredictable, undeniable, powerful team whenever you, whenever you don't know who you're facing. You don't know who your opponents are, so obviously it's going to be harder to come back. So definitely the young Sammy Cruz and the young Mr. Keon definitely have their work cut out for them, James Alexander. The one thing you don't know is that these guys are known for the old switcheroo, which is when the ref's not looking, the fresh man just sneaks his way in there and no one is the wiser. It's only a little height difference between the two of them. Classic, classic, classic psychology um, that they're using. I, I saw it a bunch of times in Puerto Rico. I uh, will even go as far as to say that I may have even done that once or twice with my former partner from WWC in Puerto Rico, Mr. Hardcore Rico Suave, son of Johnny Rods' former partner, Jose Estrada. Nice, nice body slam right there by HBO Keon. Now it seems as if he's, he lost the control. And the double team moves. You know, I don't understand. I, I, I can't tell the unknowns apart. I don't know. How many. They look exactly the same. I mean, it's a damn height difference. Right now, you got Ghost in there, picks up a near fall on Keon. And these titles seem to be slipping away by the moment here. Keon's got to make a tag and dust to Santa Cruz. 
I will say this, HBO Keon and Sammy Cruz was very, very impressive in the last month when James, when they were able to, re to get the WWE Tag Team titles, they just became a combination at that show. It wasn't like they've had months and months of experience. They just got together and they were able to pull an upset and become WWE Tag Team Champions, which is a rarity here in the world of unpredictable wrestling. My goodness, that was a vicious smash to HBO Keon falling off the ring apron. HBO Keon got knocked off the ring apron. Sammy Cruz hit the referee. The unknown mass don't win the belt due to a deep. Uro does believe there are tag team champions. Trisha Fox. Trisha Fox. Do me a favor. Let him talk. Let him talk. What are you doing, champ? Kurt Farrington. What? Oh, what's this? What's this? That's Johnny Broadway? Johnny Broadway. Johnny Boy, who hurt his arm a couple of months ago, who, mysteriously, we don't know how that happened. How do you know? Was you there? No, so then that means you don't know. But he got involved in the match. What's going on here? Now, you're the new manager of the South American Terrace, Uno Ito's Trish. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Miscarriage of justice! And it's as if Johnny Broadway knew exactly what was going to happen. NOP is always a team that's together. I'm not gonna tell I'm not gonna tell you what NOP stands for because it's something very provocative. But they seem to have their female manager. That's Miss Booty Collins, I would say. But Kurt 